Here at Streams Ministries, we're often asked what different elements might mean in dreams. Now, in different videos, we've talked about houses and dreams, and we've talked specifically about what bathrooms and dreams might mean. But there's a lot of other rooms in a house that might have meaning. So when we're talking about rooms in a house, let's take a look at what some of those might mean. Thinking about the purpose of the room or where it's located. Think about a basement. A basement, it's, it's underneath the surface. It's in the foundation of the house. It's usually hidden. It's, it's not necessarily seen. Things in the basement are talking about issues that are foundational issues or they're hidden issues or they're stuff that's going on underneath the surface. Now, the house helps you to understand what the basement of the house would be. So go back and watch the video on houses so that you can understand what that house might particularly mean. Uh, what about a kitchen? A kitchen is where you prepare food. And scripture often uses the metaphor of food to talk about spiritual nourishment, teaching, the milk of the word, the meat of the word, um, receiving good food. That, so there's some type of a spiritual nourishment that the kitchen would offer, often represent. What's being prepared? Or is it the dishes that are being cleaned? That would have something very different. Maybe that's talking about fellowship that's happened and, and having to, to, to prepare or, or to get the house back in order after having had a, a lot of interactions, a lot of things that were happening in your life. So the kitchen could have a particular meaning. What, what about a living room? A living room, it's, it's usually the more public part of the house. This is where you probably have people come and sit down if they came to visit. This is, this is the more public area of your life or whatever the house would represent, the public area of the church. It's, it's kind of the more social interactions. Now, again, if there's not a lot of social interactions going on, it may not be talking about social interactions but it's, it's that place of life that, that's more seen by those that come in and visit. What about a bedroom? You know, think about a bedroom. There's a couple things. A bedroom is a place of intimacy, but it's also a place of rest. Now, what's going on in the bedroom? Is, is it talking about needing to rest? Is it talking about uh, being more intimate with someone or, or more intimate with the Lord? And that context can help you. What about the attic? The attic of a house can often talk about mindsets, the things that you think, but it can also talk about past issues, history, stuff that's been stored up. A lot of times we, we, we throw stuff up in the attic because we, we don't need it and maybe we'll get it at some point in time. And so all this old stuff from different times and different seasons gets stored up there and, and, and then it can be found at a later time. And so attic can represent that kind of a situation. And what about a roof, the roof over the house? The roof talks about a covering. It, it, it's it's the, the covering that's over the house, it, usually some type of a spiritual covering, some type of an authority that's there. Um, is, the, is the roof strong? Is the roof leaking? Uh, is it letting the rain in? Is that a good thing or is that a bad thing? It can be a really good thing that the covering over a house allows the rain of the Holy Spirit in, but it could also be a very negative thing if it's not able to protect from what's going on in the environment. And so the context is going to tell you a bunch. Different rooms, they, they all have different meanings as to what's going on in a particular dream. So pay attention to the rooms in the house because it might be a clue as to what your dream means. Hopefully that's helpful. There's another dream element for you.